I personally am motivated by not losing my memory, especially as I get older. I want to document and capture as much of my life as possible, whether it is through journals or photos or videos, things that I can look back on that allow me to relive some of those memories that I've captured in a bottle is just very motivating for me, even if I don't share them with anybody else. But I find that the storytelling exercise has been the most effective in my personal life. So just remembering certain memories and moments that I want to share with my friend or cousin next time I see them has been really fun. Now, if you're interested in the professional benefits that storytelling will bring you, that's totally fine. This exercise is going to allow you to capture a volume of stories, which inevitably will filter down to a few good ones. Those you can use, whether it's for job interviews or scholarship essays or networking events, doesn't matter. To give you a quick background on how I found this exercise, I was watching Ali Abdal's podcast on YouTube, and he was discussing a book and an exercise that he has been doing recently. The book is called Story Worthy by Matthew Dix. So I immediately purchased this thing on Kindle. And the exercise that I fast forwarded to that I was most interested in was called Homework for Life. Now, I know it's a funny name. It might trigger some memories because homework was never fun. And I totally get that. But I promise you, it's not laborious. It only takes like two to five minutes at most to do this exercise on a daily basis. So how do you do the exercise? Now, the idea is to capture a story worthy moment every single day, but can become very stressful when we think about writing a 500 to 1000 word story on a daily basis. Eventually, you might fall off the boat and not really even want to open it up again. So Matthew Dix, the author, recognized this and has basically consolidated the exercise into a Google sheet or an Excel sheet, or in my case that I'll be sharing a notion template. But the idea is to limit yourself to like two to three sentences at most because it needs to fit inside a cell. So I can very quickly and easily see when I'm being a little bit too long winded because the cell gets bigger and bigger. So building that muscle in my brain to be more concise with thinking, with writing, which then obviously can translate to when I'm talking or speaking, but that's something that I want to invest time into. And I found this exercise to do really well, I guess. The template I'm using in Notion I'm about to show you, you can download for free, by the way, by tapping the link in the description below or going to padmahal.com. Okay, so the first column is just the date so that I can keep track of what day I actually wrote the story down for, what days I'm actually skipping. And I actually use this column as the sort filter so that the most recent date is going to appear at the very top. Second column is just the story. So I like to rename this column to something that will motivate me a little bit more, a prompt or question that will get my brain thinking. So you can definitely customize that. This next category is a game changer. The tags column allows you to create tags to filter and sort the types of stories that you might be writing. So I don't use this all the time, but if I write something that might be good for work or for a presentation, I'll tag it as such. If I have something that's more personal, then I'll make sure to tag it as personal. So you can customize this in an unlimited way based on the purposes that you're gonna be using this exercise for. This especially becomes important for me as these stories build hopefully over the years. So as I have more and more stories, once you've got over a hundred in this spreadsheet, it's really nice to have tags to be able to filter through all of those stories that you've written. If I decide to expand on any of these stories, like I hit a stride and I want to write more than two to three sentences, I can always just write inside the page itself. I can add headings, I can add videos, I can add research, I can put anything inside this page that I might want to remember in the future. And the way that you can separate uh, the pages that have something inside of them and that don't, you'll see a little document icon next to that in the spreadsheet, right? You can also change that icon to be another emoji, which I like to do. That way it signifies, hey, take a look here. So I might use the eyes emoji to remind me to expand and check what's inside there. Another thing that I love about Notion is if you ever decide to export this out into a normal spreadsheet and you want to switch it over to Google Sheet or something like that, you can easily export it out as a CSV. And since this is pretty simple with a couple columns and not too much detail inside of each one of these cards, it's pretty simple to migrate if you ever decide to do so. I love that writing helps improve my thinking. And as long as I'm able to steal a moment or two out of my day throughout the day, this is an exercise that I can easily do on my phone or before I go to bed 
or the next morning. Sometimes I like because it reminds me like out of everything, I've had time to process what stuck out to me the next morning. So if you're a nerd like me with anything storytelling related, then I think you're going to love the book Story Worthy by Matthew Dix. Definitely check that out. There's so many unique exercises and things that will help you get thinking differently aside from this one exercise homework for life. But if you enjoyed the Notion template and what you saw today and you want to download a copy for yourself, you can do that for free. Just hit the description below and you should be good to go. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you next time.